claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? So wait, did we come and report this, or did they find prints and bring us in? Well, well, Scott Shelby. Trouble again? Look who it is. Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old times' sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond me. Idea stage. You tell me about it, will you, Scott? Oh, yeah, yeah, we would tell you. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, remember? We had a deal. This isn't a game, Lord. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was 10 feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to you again. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse uh, to be responsible for harsh. anything that goes wrong. What is she doing? Are you fucking joking right now? This is not the time. I have no choice. Yeah, we can't I just. I'm doing this to protect her. <laughs> like convincing ourselves. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Let's get out before she leaves. Lauren. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. Miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. All right. Well, emotions are kind of all over the place here. So it's Thursday now, eleven fifteen a.m. I want to say we have till the end of Friday or early Saturday. And this, like, ugh. 
I can't... Can we? I don't know if we can kill a guy. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call. Oh, I can't. First. I can't do it. Come on. I might not have a Beat. choice. For what? I should get out of here. You're gonna cause me trouble. Hey. Oh, I don't know. Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what like, you why need. this guy? Sure if anybody that they, they could have us huh? kill. Gosh, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Oh fuck! <laughs> oh bad! Um, I guess it could be self-defense now. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not doing it. I We're just running. I cannot just kill this guy. For the, our son or not, we can't just kill randoms. Oh, shit. Because once that happens, there's no coming back. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? I need you to pre you, you want pretend to you're dead, maybe. <laughs> Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Uh-huh. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. Oh, I can't do it. I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. I can't do it. I can't. Like, how could I justify killing this guy? Fuck. We're gonna fail. I do feel like, though, that we have enough of the of the address. Like, can't we just go? We can infer that it's Roosevelt something. Uh, and then we can just go to the addresses that would match the numbers that we already have, no? That's what I would like to be doing. I don't know, that could've just- that could've caused some shit right there. Matt, it's Sam. I got your information. And uh, the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. I kind of like that sound. You should just let it rumble. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Let's do it then. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. Okay. 
Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Bitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. I don't think so. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Uh, yeah, I'll play along. Sure, why not? Ugh. Gross. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Some guy. I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. Yum. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Oh, God. Forget it. I'm not for sale. Let's drink up, make this bearable. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. I mean, could we be more obvious? Could we, please? We're gonna blow it. Having Ruin some everything. Trouble. Oh, didn't he you drugged us. Didn't warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? Oh, didn't even consider it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, no. What have we done? Big mistake. Never take drinks from strangers. <laughs> Shit. Now we're going to be trapped in some sex dungeon. Whoa. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Uh oh. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. Yeah, screaming's not really gonna help us. I read it to my friend Paco. You must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You fucking to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. Please tell me we can get out of this shit. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here. You've got to so be I fucking whatever comes kidding to hand. me. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold on. No! Sting him. No! Have you ever noticed? Holy as fuck! As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. Oh no. Come on.
Come on. Let's get me the fuck out of here. Hello, sir. I've come to bring oh, we got out. We got out. In the form of these magnificent Careful. Bottles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I love you. Come on, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to in you. Holy shit, Even we're doing it. Humble flock to walk in his steps, for St. John has said. Oh, thanks a lot, but I don't need it. Well, here we go! <laughs> Fucking life or death right here. <laughs> Who is this fucking creep? Like, what is this? Come on! Oh, shit. There we go. Yes! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! <laughs> Yes! Come on! Please get us out of here! Oh shit. <laughs> oh, disgusting. <laughs> yes. Ah! Yes! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, that was gnarly. Well, we've killed a person now. Holy shit. <sighs> Paco. Blue Lagoon. Hey. Not leaving empty-handed.